video games. And so if you haven't ever watched our show, uh, I'm a big Destiny fan. Very big Destiny fan. I played the game for years. And part of it was because I developed a group of friends that I could get on and play with. And it was camaraderie, you know, running through. And that was the best thing about Destiny. Say what you will about the story not being there in the first Destiny. Say what you will about whatever you want negatively about the game. Nobody can deny that it was a unique experience where you could really connect with a couple friends and really go out and adventure and explore and have a good time together and, and just do a whole bunch of things. Well, Destiny 2 has come out. And now my life is officially put on hold for the next couple of uh, months, probably years, maybe. Who knows? You know, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I had a little bit of a tan going, but now it's totally going to fade away into uh, total obscurity because Destiny 2 is out and it's pretty mm. awesome. So I'm going to give you a, a, a beginning review because it's not fair to review a game. It's only been out for two days when I haven't even beaten the full story or experienced some of the biggest things that'll be about it because the raid hasn't come out. That comes out next week. The nightfalls haven't come out. I believe those come out next week. So this is kind of a review in progress to steal a term from another yeah. website. Th this isn't a even a, a 10 hour game. This is definitely a massive game yes, experience. Yes, we're talking so. massive. I, I put hundreds of hours into Destiny 1 and now that's again across three years so don't hate on me too much but that's a lot of time in a game that's definitely a hundred hour game club um and but so destiny 2 just right off the bat when you first jump back in you you feel the, the same sense of comfort that you did from the original destiny if you are a destiny one player or even just played it a little bit here or there you will feel comfortable in it they kept the control scheme nice and tight because it was just flawless in the first one uh everything feels nice and fluid you understand what's going on now they did do a couple changes a couple changes with the weapon system it's really not that important it does change the gameplay a little bit but not drastically enough that it's it's really a uh, you know an addition or a subtraction in my mind it's just a different way of playing which is good because it is the second game but moving on um but one thing that you will notice right off the bat is the graphics are gorgeous uh now it's hard to improve from the last ones because those are amazing too it's not like huge jump forward but it is a decent jump enough that you really you can notice it. the textures are better the lighting is better uh the character models they've gone through and reworked a couple character models you still recognize the baddies from the first one or the good guys but they've added little things to them like uh one is the acolyte this was a standard hive enemy me, which was a lower level hive enemy that kind of were just like little skeletors running around the first one they kind of bulked them out a little bit and really gave them their own unique feel so and they've changed the way they move they changed the way those weapons work all this going towards keeping the game again familiar and comfortable but changing it so you are getting a new experience so that's that's been amazing so far but the biggest change of all which is easy to see just from the first story mission is they gave us a story this time i mean they literally went out of their way to establish some characters for us some new characters we hadn't seen before uh, get to know them a little bit you know give them some personality and a reason to either like or dislike these these npcs and and they give you some cinematics now the first one did have some cinematics most of them were like 30, 10 seconds long and they didn't make any sense i mean they really just didn't add into anything to it this one they they give you cutscenes in the middle of some of these missions and really immerses you in there and, and, and really draws you forward there's a, it's easier to get a lot of the lore that you had to go online or use an app to get last time so if you do like to jump more in depth you can certainly do that with a lot more ease than you could in the first one but just the basic what they give you basic is is way better uh, it just it, it's a totally new experience in terms of the way they tell the story, which I really enjoy. And if you've been playing Destiny like I have, they they've kind of been moving it in this direction. They did a little bit more with the Taken King. They did a little bit more with Rise of Iron, but they've really they've just they've elevated themselves to a next level in this one. There there's multiple bad guy characters that they're setting up. You know, it's just so much more depth to the story than we ever had before. Um, now the the online multiplayer is still my favorite shooting online multiplayer because i loved halo 3 i like the call of duties online shooters but this is halo is really my wheelhouse i'm, I'm sorry destiny's my wheelhouse and because it gives you that halo feel and i think people still love halo yeah i will i'll honestly that's was my favorite fps was halo 3 early on anyway mm -hmm. i actually didn't care for it as much when they um added in the different classes even though that was interesting i didn't enjoy it as much because i didn't I yeah. wasn't playing as much at that point, and it just yeah. added complication that I was not. But I think the classes in. were for Reach, actually. So that was a totally different game they had. Class they, I thought that they added it in back, like back added it into three as well. Uh, maybe I, I'm not. I don't I, know. I, I didn't. I, did. I wasn't playing it much at that time. I just remember seeing it at a convention, and 
I thought it was Halo 3 that we were playing, but uh, maybe it was Reach. Uh, Either way, I yeah, I like the Halo 3 uh, FPS online play without uh, changing classes, so whatever. And and you get the similar feel from Destiny now. If you are Destiny 2, and now if you are Destiny 1 player, this is really where the change up of the weapon system uh, does is is more felt. It's drastically more felt, and it does change it. And I think it makes it a little smoother, makes it a little more even playing field. Um, and I do enjoy that. Now I haven't really jumped into too much multiplayer, but there's a couple things I hope they fix. I'm not sure if they did. Again, review in progress. Matchmaking was never very good. Uh, it always took too long. And um, skill level matching, especially with things like Trials of Osiris, which is more of a competitive thing. I never had a shot because I was not one of the top 1% of the players. Only the top 1% of the players ever made it to the Promised Land, which was the lighthouse in the first uh, first Destiny. And I'm hoping they make it, uh, they, they at least match me up against people my skill level. I don't care if I lose sometimes, but I want to have a shot at winning every now and then. <laughs> you know, that, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. So... Overall, though, I've I've thoroughly enjoyed this game. I've put hours into it, and I plan on putting lots of hours more into it. Um, and again, it's because I have a group of friends that I love playing with. It's funny, too, playing Destiny 2. I talk to some people that I used to talk to almost every day, you know, or at least every other day. Uh, not that I knew them face to face, but I knew them very well. Like I know about their kids, I know, you know, mm-hmm. like I know about a lot about these people's lives and they know a lot about my life too, you know, and these are friends of mine that I made playing through destiny that I haven't talked to in six, seven, eight months. Cause I haven't really played in that long and, and boom, I jump on and that community's right there. A bunch of these guys were jumping in my party saying, Hey man, had a long time. No talk. We're great. We get to play again. And I just can't wait to just renew those friendships. And that's really at the heart of this game for me. It's about bringing people together together and giving you and your buddies or new friends uh an experience to launch off and the destiny community is one of the the best communities out there i i remember the first time i ever started raiding uh in destiny i had people that i just put on the form hey i'm new i don't know how to do it i get an invite like hey man we'll, we'll teach you how to do everything and it's like awesome like you guys are awesome nice. and and that happens over and over and over again and i've done it myself because people have done it for me i'm like oh the bunch of noobs doing it Nah, let me jump on and help them out. You know, I'm an experienced player. I'll show them all the tricks, all the secrets that they don't know about. So it, it's, I can't wait to really immerse myself totally in this game. And uh, I'm pretty much doing it. So if you haven't played it, play it. If you want to hit me up, uh, you know, hit us up, comments down below. We'll trade gamer tags on PS4. I'd love to get more people in my fire team and uh, have a good time. But that's my thoughts on it. So far, I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. I'm surprised just 4.5. Because I haven't got, I haven't played the radio. I, gotcha. I, I haven't played enough, you know. Yeah, maybe they otherwise... should release that earlier too. Yeah, I guess. No, it's, it's good that they wait a week to release the raid. It is actually yeah, a good idea. Easy. But, but hit us up. Let us know what you think. Do you have Destiny? Do you want to play with me? I'm a fun guy to play online. Like I really am. I I've been told I'm really fun to play with online. He's terrible to play. All with. right. But hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter. Google plus Facebook.